If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, I offer same-day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know of details is in the description box below of this video of how to book with me. Thank you so much. Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Okay. Now, keep in mind, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. I have a bonus tarot channel at Val444 Tarot, if you want to check that out. And a vlog channel at Val Smib. Okay. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Ooh, what the heck? Hold on here. Not ready yet, cross watcher. Chill out. Okay, try it again here. Whoever you're dealing with is very jumpy, Aquarius. Very jumpy. All right, let's see. Okay. Well, they start out pretty peaceful though. Okay. Their perspective with you and them and everything, they're just kind of chilling. They're being peaceful. They're understanding and patient right now with you. Okay. Now this could be someone that's in their own marriage and relationship outside of you that you're asking about, or this is someone that's in a marriage and relationship with you, or they want to be with you, or they're a friend. It's something pretty loyal and beautiful there. Yeah, literally. So they're in their own marriage and relationship and it's faithful and it's loyal or they're in it with you and it's faithful, it's loyal, it's beautiful. For some of you, they could be single, but they are totally like, you know, loyal to you and themselves and they're just chilling. Um, this could be a really good friend, a connection, a partnership of some sort here. Okay. And so, yeah, interesting. It flips. So whatever's going on here, here's the thing. They feel like they are truly in their wish fulfillment, desires. They're getting what they want. They're, you know, working more towards what they want in life, you know, with themselves and with you. And it looks like it's because they are in an affair with you. Okay. For some of you, they're in an affair. But others of you, they're cheating on you versus cheating with you. They're cheating on you. So either or. And if not, this is a friend group where unfortunately they're not being faithful and trustworthy. They could be gossiping and talking crap. They don't trust you. They're not happy with you. They're putting up a fake persona and facade to pretend everything's fine. Or this could be someone that, you know, unfortunately is kind of throwing, they could be in a gang. They could be gang stalking you. They could be trying to throw a group at you in a toxic way. Um, or... They could just honestly be on drugs or drinking and smoking and partying to the point where it's just, you know, that's them. They don't want to change. Uh, they could be trying to pull you in on it. Either or. Whatever that's about, they love it. They're happy. They feel passionate doing this, being this way here with you and towards you. It feels good to them. Yeah. So whether they are in a marriage and relationship with you or with or with someone else they're still going to be unfaithful and untrustworthy towards you and towards who they're dealing with or whatever they're not there's a truth that they know about deep down about themselves but they don't they want to deny it they don't really want to well trust that um they're gonna keep quiet and stay a little shady and gossipy Towards you and if, like I said, if they're in a marriage and relationship outside of you, they're going to be that, they keep cheating. They're with you, they're going to keep cheating and be unfaithful to you. They don't want to commit to you. Whatever this is about, they don't want to commit. Okay. Now, whatever spiritual or religious or paranormal type stuff they are involved in, they're not really about it. They're not real with it. They don't care about it. They don't like being of service to people. But they have, 
for some reason, and it's with you though, and they, but they gotta, you know, they, I don't know, they, they know what they put themselves through. They're whatever about it. Now, literally, because after that, they're, they're, they're aware, like they're, they know what they're doing. They know what's going on. They're totally like neutral and cool, calm, collected about it. Like there are no problems there. Okay. Huh. But, ooh, yeah, so, uh, well, maybe, and I was going to say, if they talk to you or someone says something, that's caused them to do a few things here. It's made them not really want the message to come out, okay? Um, it's making them not happy, okay, whatever this is, so hold on. I'm writing your title down because like one they're trying to block bad news from being relayed to you or they don't want to tell you something they don't now feel inspired or motivated to act towards you and or some of you if you guys have a child or kids involved there's something there that's not really working for them either or right after that the door closes the chapter is done Just, whether it was on you life or they did it it's like done it's over and now they feel emotionally successful and happy that it's over. Or they just still don't want to, you know, feel successful with you. They feel happy with you. Now they can be real, free, authentic. They can be themselves. Whatever that is. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. It's like, ooh, okay, interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the thing, though. They still want to use you somehow as some sort of financial, emotional, energetic crutch. It makes them feel lack of but they still don't want to get away from you and move forward and do something different, okay, with whatever that is. Um, so they're not gonna walk away. Instead, they're going to sign a contract with you, sign the deal with you, be committed to you, be in a relationship with you, or what they're saying is, if you're dealing with someone who's married, okay, to someone else, they're still gonna stay with who they're with, okay? Or this is someone that is choosing to hunker down and commit to their spiritual, religious, esoteric, therapeutic, paranormal, political position. And if not, they're going to people of guidance, you know, spiritual, religious, therapeutic to get information on you. <laughs> so either or. Yeah, and so based on that, whatever that may be, that has caused them to not want to emotionally walk away from you and the situation. But at the same time, it's caused them to either, one, not want to create this opportunity with you at all or have a new chapter with you, or two, force one onto you in a way where it's for their own greed and financial benefit. Okay, and that's what I got for you here. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you, bye.